right, let's get started. I just started. All right. Just throw that in the All right. Out there. Praise God. Here we go. <laughs> Lord, bring us back into his house once again. Coming together for Bible study. Everybody woke and ready? Yep. All right, here we go. All right. Be glad. Let's enter into his house with gladness. Ready to receive his word, ready to study, getting close to the Lord today. All right, everybody, welcome everybody here, Repairing the Breach Ministries. <laughs> welcome to Repairing the Breach Ministries, everybody here and everyone joining together with us online. Yes, we laugh a lot at the church and have fun sometimes. Most of the time it's not recorded, though. But here we go. All right. <clears throat> As always, when the Lord brings us together, be in continuous prayer for everyone. Continuous prayer for those here, those joining together with us online. There'd be no interruptions, no disturbances. And that as well, that there be no, <clears throat> that everybody will be able to receive everything. No, pray for the, the signal to continue on going forth with no interruptions as well. And and as always, prepare your hearts as we come in and, 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 and go over God's word. Go over the lesson that he has for us today. Be hung, ready to be hungry, be ready to be ready to receive. Uh, empty yourself, empty every uh, all, all uh, uh, distractions that you can uh, that that we all will be able to pick up, all will be able to receive fully. And and, <clears throat> and once again, be in continuous prayer as we open up in prayer. And let, and as always, be uh, always glad to come into our Father's house to come together, to join together, united as one. All right, so let's open up in prayer. Dear Father, we thank you and we praise you, dear Lord, for being with us, for guiding and keeping us, dear Father, throughout this, throughout this week, dear Lord, and allowing us once again to enter in into this uh, together, dear Father, for your Bible study together to receive, dear Father, as we sit at your feet hungry, dear Lord. Now, I, I pray unto you in the name of Jesus, dear Father, forgive all the sins that we've committed against you, all the falling short that we have done, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, dear Father, just to guide and keep and stand on with us, dear Lord. Continue on blessing us, dear Father. And bring, bring, continue putting us on the right, straight, and narrow pathway. Light and light our pathway that we will know the, the the way to go, dear Father. And I pray, dear Lord, as we enter in, all of us here and, and those who join together with us online, as we leave out of the distractions of this world, dear Father, and, and crucify our flesh empty our cup coming before you uh, coming before you empty ready to receive dear father i pray to you in the name of jesus to be with us dear lord your, your anointing to come down and reign upon us dear father everyone dear lord as we join together dear father i pray to remind us that there be no uh no, no division no discord as we join together dear father we know that your hand is not short that you can that that your blessings can go uh, all around dear father no matter how many miles are in between your children uh, between us dear father that you that your your blessings can rain down upon each and every one of us you can fill each and every one of us dear father in the name of jesus dear lord I pray, dear Father, just to stand and guide and keep and watch over us and let this lesson, uh, and let this lesson be organized by you, dear Father, and and taught by you, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, dear Father. Uh, I pray that, that there be no interruptions, no disturbances upon this place, dear Father, upon upon the dwelling places that that you're hungry are joining together with us online, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, dear Father. I pray. That, that we all be able to receive with joy and gladness, dear Father. That we all be, be able to receive fully of, uh, your word, dear, dear Father. No matter where we are in, in, in our spiritual growth with you, that, that from, the, from the spiritually, from the youngest to the oldest, that we all can receive your word to the fullest, dear Father. There be no questions, nothing missing out, nothing, <clears throat> nothing confusing upon the minds or the hearts of your hungry dear father as we join in together dear lord in the name of jesus dear father and i pray as they as they all as all of us as we all receive your word dear father i pray in the name of jesus dear lord that they will give you all the glory and praise dear father in the name of jesus dear lord none to fall upon myself dear father that there may be no temptation of pride to enter in to your servant dear father that they will all give all the accolades and good word good jobs everything will go straight to you dear father in the name of jesus dear lord 
And I pray, dear Father, to be with us and guide and keep and stand on with us, dear Father. And I let it be known, dear Father, I crucify my flesh and empty myself, dear Father. I reject everything of the flesh that comes along with it, dear Father. In the name of Jesus, praying that you would take charge of this Bible study, praying that you will teach this Bible study, dear Father. Give us the words and give us the lesson that, that you have set out set out and planned for us to receive, dear Father. I have nothing to give of my own, dear Lord. I have... I desire not to teach or to or, or to or to uh, give anything of my own uh, self, dear Father. But I pray in, in the name of Jesus that you will speak through me, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, dear Father. Guide and keep and stand on with us, dear Father, and continue on standing with us, dear Lord, as we receive this, your word. And Satan, in the name of Jesus, I cast you out of this place. You, all demons that try to occupy, all demons that try to distract, that try to take away from our Father's word. I cast you out in the name of Jesus, and, and, and in the name of Jesus, I command you to take your hands off of the broadcast that goes forth, and, and to, and, and to uh, leave out of the homes and, and dwelling places of those that are joining together with us online, and in the name of Jesus, that you shall not be a distraction or a disturbance upon any. And, and dear Father, we thank you and we praise you, dear Lord. We know that your Holy Spirit is with us at all times. We know that it gives us direction, that it lights our pathway. And I pray to you in the name of Jesus, dear Father, that your Spirit will uh, will, will interpret your word for us, dear Father. Will give us the instruction, give us the lesson that, that needs to be received by, all, by everyone, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. Guide and keep and stand on with us and continue on blessing us. Dear Father, uh, that your Holy Spirit will, will uh, fill our hearts with your word th today, dear Father. In Jesus' name, we thank you and we praise you for all that you have done, dear Father, and all that you're going to do for us, dear Lord. In Jesus' name, we thank you and praise you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Yay, Jesus. All right. Last week, we started off on uh, the on offering, the, the, the free will, being a free will offering. That uh, where, where was that? In Exodus and in... Uh, and in uh, Corinthians, well, it's saying that everybody that will give, give uh, with, a, with a willing heart. That there, that, that there's no, that there, was, there is no, uh, no advantage to give when, when you feel uh, pushed to give. That, that, that uh, there's no, no uh, nothing, no, the, the, whatever seed that you uh, want to give to the Lord will, will not sprout into anything if you... Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> when you uh, feel compelled, when you feel forced to give, when you feel like when it's done, uh, when it's when it's not done in faith, as we learn that it, when if it's not done in faith, then it, whatever's not done in faith it, is sin. And and now <clears throat> this week that that we're learn we're open up to uh, Leviticus. Now here the difference of the Old Testament and in the New Testament that. Uh, we have in the old in the Old Testament the the law that was given to Moses that he that how is it father he gave the law to Moses to give to the children of Israel and uh and the difference is uh, in the in the New Testament that we're not we'll get to in in a little bit but here in uh oh I gotta turn to it in Leviticus chapter twenty seven. Chapter 27, verse, uh, verse 30. Where is it? All right, there it is. Hmm? Yeah, go ahead. A little, uh, uh, <laughs> it took a tithe. tithe of anything from the land, whether grain from the soil or fruit from the trees belongs to the Lord. It is only it is holy to the Lord. All right, and now read down to a. Uh, I mean, read verse thirty-four as well. These are the commands the Lord gave Moses at Mount Sin Sinai. Sinai for the Israelites. All right, here, here, this is this is talking about the tithe, the tithe of the Old Testament, given ten percent of of what of uh whatever it, whatever they, they of what they have uh the the best of what they have uh just like in in uh in genesis with uh 
Abe, Cain and Abe. And chapter, was where is that at? Chapter 4. You know what verse it is? No, not verse 1. Yeah, verse 3. But uh, here in verse 4, it reads, and I'm reading this out the King James. It says, and Abel also brought the firstling of his flock. And, and and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and his offering. The firstling. This, this is the first that they give. The first and, and the best that, that they were to give. And the law that they that the law of giving in the Old Testament was given to Moses to give to the children of Israel because it was not an open vision. And the law and the law what we just read was <coughs> Excuse me. The law we just read in in, in uh, Leviticus, a, a tithe of the land, and the tithe, and this is out the King James. The tithe of the land, whether it be a, of seed, a seed of the land, or the fruit of the tree, it is the Lord's. It is holy. It is holy unto the Lord. Everything that 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 they had that they had to give that they. Uh, had what was the Lord's? It was God's. He created. He created and he he uh, gave it to them. And this is what they gave back to was to give back to him. That just a tenth of all that they of all that he blessed them with, of all the land that he get that he gave them, they were only to give back a ten percent. And this is the old test. This is the law which which God gave to Moses to give to the children of Israel. And the difference the differences of that. With today, the reason why, uh, to let like, reason today, reason they didn't, they had the ten percent. Uh, then the that law is because the spirit was not the Holy Spirit was not. Uh, it was an open vision, like in in First Samuel, with the Lord always. Uh, yeah, you know. What do you mean with, um, open, open setting. Open setting. No, the the Holy Spirit like you know how you can uh pray to God and he hears your prayer yeah. and you don't need uh me or another pastor or a, a a priest or anything to um do anything for you. You can pray yourself. Mm -hmm. They didn't have that. They had they had to have the the priest or, or Moses uh who else, who else was a, a priest but the Levites one of them to do to do their sacrifices like they had they had a a wave offering there was a heave offering there was a sacrifice offering and all of that they had to do it they had to take it to the temple to, for it to be done they couldn't do it themselves they couldn't uh, pray they, they it, the, the, it was it wasn't uh the holy spirit to give to give direction okay you got you understand it Okay, now where was I? Oh, the uh, Samuel and Eli. Where is that at? Is that chapter three? Is that chapter three? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. It says it was precious in his own sight because there was no. I mean, precious in that. There it is. Chapter three, verse one. Or verse. Yeah, verse one. Uh, First Samuel chapter three verse one it says, "And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli, and the word of the Lord <clears throat> was precious in those days. And there was no open vision. Now that difference be between that and now I'll turn to uh, uh, where is it at? Turn to John. John chapter 14. Uh, Where is that? Chapter 14, verse uh, 26. Can I read it? You want to read it? Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead and read it. John, John chapter 14, verse 26. Go ahead. Advocate. Advocate. The Holy 
Where it became the Friday lesson and then they will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Alright. Now who knows who who knows who the the advocate or in a uh what is it? In a new in a King James it says comforter. Jesus. Hmm? Jesus. You know who it is? What's, what do you say? Jesus. No, the comforter. Yeah. No. Is the Holy Spirit. Yeah. It's the Holy Spirit. There you go. He's, it's not Jesus, it's the Holy Spirit. That's the comforter. And that and that's what this is what Jesus is saying. That and I'm gonna read this out the King James. He says, But the comforter which is the Holy which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have I have said un, I have said unto you. Now, this is the difference between the Old Testament and New Testament, and this is why the this is why today that that we we can pray we pray you you're to pray and give what God will instruct you and in what to give. Whether it's the ten percent or whether it's more or whether it's less, God will God will tell you because the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is going the Holy Spirit will tell you he will instruct you just like just like jesus said here <clears throat> the comforter was the holy spirit was uh will teach you all things it's he would the holy spirit is going to teach you and, and, and give you instruction in what to give give you instruction in uh how much to give in the old testament it was a it wasn't an open vision the holy spirit wasn't uh wasn't uh Upon everyone, it, you couldn't pray in the name of Jesus, and the Holy Spirit would take up, uh, taking up your prayers unto God, and and God giving you the answer that that you need. That it had to be through Moses, and uh, and the the reason why the, when when Christ uh, died upon the cross, the veil was rent was torn down the middle, and it set and it set loose the Holy Spirit. So here, so now today that that. That which is the law, that which was the law in the Old Testament, is is not the law today. Because I know we're jumping around a lot. Because we we don't live under law. We don't live under the law. We live under grace. Which is um, where is that at? I wrote that down. Uh, there it is in Romans chapter six verse fourteen. I know I'm jumping around a lot. But that's why the Lord allowed it to be recorded, so you can jump back and watch it. Because that, because the tenth, the the tenth which Moses, which the Lord gave to Moses to give to the children of Israel, was was the law, and uh, was the law back then. In uh, Romans chapter six, verse uh, fourteen. Let me get to it. Chapter six, verse fourteen. Uh, where is it at? It says, and I'm, it's out the King James. It says, "For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are <clears throat> not under the law, but under grace." And that's what the sin, the, the the grace that God gave us to be able to pray, to be able to accept Christ as as uh, His personal Savior, to be able to pray in the name of Jesus, to be able to be able to do all of those things. We're not under the law, which says that that to uh, which you which which we have to uh, how's it? Ha we have to uh, do all these different sacrifices and different sacrifice offerings and and peace offerings and all of that. All of that. All of that fell under one one umbrella, if you will. It fell under Christ. When Christ came on the cross, when Christ when Christ died upon the cross, gave Himself, and and raised again on the third day, all of that fell upon Him. All of that fell upon His shoulders. He was uh, the 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 uh, the promise the, the the promise coming in the promise coming in in, in, in bodily form which was Christ and now back here in the Old Testament that they don't they didn't they did not have that they didn't have that they had Moses <clears throat> which God gave them instruct which God gave him uh instructions to 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 give to them about the tithe and 
about how much to give because as just like what Christ told the, the uh, disciples, he said when they fell asleep, when he was praying, they fell asleep. Uh, what, 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 uh, do you remember? Uh, what verse is that? Uh, where, where he said, uh, oh, it just, le it just left me. Where he said, uh, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Is it? Yeah, the Garden of Geths Geths <laughs> Gethsemane. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Uh, let's see. Twenty. No, nope, that's when he was there. Oh, Gethsemane. There it is. Um, down. What you say? Yeah. Wait, I gotta look up. Yeah, watch and pray. Yeah, go ahead and read it, Phil. No, nah, just 40, 41. Oh, wait, let me see. Go ahead. 41. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. <coughs> the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. All right, now the flesh is weak. The, the, the flesh is saying that the flesh is easily, uh, easily tempted, easily tricked, easily ensnared. And that's and and that's what uh, and well that in the the flesh uh it, it's easily manipulated, like uh when uh somebody yeah. What's temptation? Temptation means means uh being uh let's see what's it means this. Temptation is being uh lord uh. You want to do something you want to do. Yeah. Yeah, trick. That's a good word. Trick. Well, sometimes it's seducing. Huh? Sometimes it's seducing. No, not necessarily. Oh, okay. Mama's tempting you too. Alright, no. Let's, what was I? <laughs> oh, no, I can't remember what I was talking about. You were reading, uh, talking about the spirit. Oh, the, fle the, the, the flesh. That, that, the flesh is easily uh, manipulated and... <clears throat> and um coerced to do whatever it's seen like if, if uh, let's say that the, that the lord somebody is, is sick and the, um and the lord tells that person that they're well the lord tells that person that they're healed if you're walking in faith with christ you're you're going to walk in that you're going to walk in that healing you're going to walk in the, the, the what god gave you but if you're walking but the flesh if you slip up the 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 uh when you go to the doctor if the doctor says oh you still have that ailment upon you then uh then you then if you slip up and walk in the flesh that that you're easily uh you're going to look at that you'll be looking at that instead of looking at the promise that God gave you you'll be looking at that instead of uh the words that that uh God that 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 God um said to you on that healing that's how the the flesh is in the israel and back then in the old testament the israelites that they 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 were uh easily easily uh easily manipulated easily tricked with with uh uh blam with with, with blam and uh uh with, with uh what happened when they were go coming through the coming through walking through the it walking through the uh wilderness that they that they were saying uh there we have onions and watermelons and all that in in egypt <clears throat> with, with the land that he that they were not only the land but the con but the countries around them that the lord told them to uh to to eliminate that they that uh the idols the idol worshiping and all of that their eye they were easily manipulated for the simple fact that they weren't they were they weren't uh how is that father that the 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 spirit wasn't that they weren't walking in the spirit they weren't walking in in faith like we do today and uh <clears throat> and just as we do today that that we we can uh run after god we can uh and and seek his face continuously we can pray all the time that they had that they were walking more in the flesh and and, and they were weakened 
for the simple fact that that uh Satan will easily be can easily tempt them in any way, just like with um Samson. With uh, was it Samson? Yeah. So with Samson, he he was easily tempted by uh by what he saw by by the women he saw. He wanted uh, the uh Delilah, and uh I can't remember the 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 uh girl before girl before that he wanted to marry, but the king uh gave him to his friend. Uh, that that because the 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 flesh is easily tempted, the flesh is easily drawn away by it. And that's why that's why the, the the Bible always tells us to walk to walk by faith and not by sight. And now here, in speaking of, of going back to tithing, that's why they had that's why they had that that's why they had tithing back then because the the spirit wasn't everywhere. It, the, the the veil wasn't rent wasn't torn down the middle. The Holy Spirit the, the Holy Spirit wasn't sent down by by Christ and to to teach everybody. And to give everybody instruction, so here, so it had to be through Moses uh, <clears throat> giving them, giving them the law which God, which God gave to him, and and the and you can see, uh, where is that at? In Numbers, we'll see. You can see that Numbers chapter. Let's see where is it at? Chapter eleven, verse fourteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Let's see. See if it's the right one I'm looking for. Uh, chapter. Oops, that's chapter fourteen. Yeah, chapter eleven, verse fourteen. Where is it at? Chapter fourteen, and then we're going to skip down to verse sixteen and verse uh, verse sixteen and seventeen. And here, uh, number now the King James it says, "I am not." able to bear all this people alone because it is too heavy for me <clears throat> and uh jump down to 16 it says, and the lord said unto moses gather unto me 70 men of the of the elders of the elders of israel whom <clears throat> whom thou knowest to be elders of the people and officers of them and bring them unto the temple of congregation that they may stand, <clears throat> excuse me, that they may stand with thee, and I will come down and talk and talk with thee, and there I will take the spirit which I which is upon thee, and will put it and will put it upon them, and they shall bear the burden of the people with thee, that thou that thou bear it not thyself alone. Now here, what, what God is saying, He said. The, the spirit of God is upon Moses uh, and, and Moses was to instruct uh, every to instruct to teach everyone God's commandments, God's laws and God's uh, instruct God's instruction to him to to all of Israel. And this is where uh, when the people were complaining and, and the quails were sent down and uh, and I believe it, right when they let's see right when they chewed in there. Well, we won't get into that part. But the quails were sent down because of the people were complaining, and uh, Moses he couldn't take it because all of the burden was upon him. Everything, everything, uh, everything was was falling was falling on him. The whole the the spirit was just on him. It wasn't on everybody. It wasn't open to everyone. Everyone couldn't pray to to, to God themselves. He had to give them instructions. He had to give them direction. He had to do everything for them, uh, just like a just just like a, a parent has to do with with, with a child he get, gives them all everything that that they need and <clears throat> and there Moses is telling them to take all to take 70 and he he told him the spirit that the spirit that is on him he's going to put it on them it's still not going to be open to everyone it's just those those 70 that that God told Moses to bring forth his their, that God's spirit was going to be upon them as well, so they can so they can pray and get in and uh and get answers from God with with whatever uh, quandaries, or, or conflicts, or quest or questions or any of that, and, and as well as the the uh, sacrifices that that go on, that he can that that they can as well uh, 
stand in place uh, as an as an advocate, as a go between. And it's not fa all falling on Moses, but here once again we ha we have here that that uh, and the spirit is not open. And now <clears throat> all of the and all everything through the Old Testament that they read is that the tithe is the law, uh, the the. Uh, the, the 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 offering the offering of the tithe is the law the offering of the tithe is is a uh, mandatory of what you give it's not you give more or you give less you give the tithe and what we're saying and, and what I'm and what the Lord is teaching today is, is that today we have the Holy Spirit today we have that that opening when, when Christ died upon the cross when when uh the the the, the curtain was ripped down the middle and the Holy Spirit was let loose to everyone. We all can pray. And this is that that can seeking God's face. This is that continuously running after him. This is just, it's it's not just uh we we don't when we walk with God, it's not uh routine. It shouldn't be routine. When you walk with God, it, it should be something uh it should be something that 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 is compelled. To do for you should be compelled to not compelled to do. You should want to do it. You should want to walk with God. You should want to pray with Him. Just like on Sunday when we uh when when I can't even remember what the sermon was now. Oh man. <laughs> but when when we're, when you're when you're uh praying, you pray. You go after God. Yeah. It was about destruction. Huh? It was about destruction. Destructions. Distractions. Distractions. Oh, okay. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> yeah, but but it has to be. It, 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 and now we have to go. We go after God uh, willingly. We have we go after God with all our hearts. Then in the Old Testament, like like the Lord said, there was no open vision. There was no the Holy Spirit was not upon everybody. Just Moses and the seventy. And the instructions that God gave to Moses was, was to tithe their offering. And now today, if we if, if we go some some of the, some churches they 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 have they they go with tithing. They say you have to tithe ten percent. You have to tithe uh, uh, gross or net uh, of your income. But you can't you you cannot uh, live under grace and under the law. Yeah, because here, turn to uh, First Corinthians, First Corinthians chapter uh one verse seventeen, and and it's the same way with uh. With with, with some of these. Some of these uh, uh, what was this uh, um. Uh, what was that? What was that? The, these uh, 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 networks that have these uh, telethons that, that, that say you have to give this or you have to give that. And it, 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 uh, uh, offering an offering to God cannot be something that, that's forced, cannot be something that you're con just like we learned uh, last week. It can't be, it has to be with a willing heart. And, and with that willing heart t today, that we pray and ask God what it is that, that we that we should give because if it, <clears throat> here in verse uh in 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 first corinthians mm -hmm. where is that at let me let me find them go ahead oh i'm sorry chapter one first corinthians chapter one verse 17 yeah christ did not send me to to uh, send me to baptize but to preach the gospel not with wisdom and Eloquence. Eloquence. Was the cost of Christ the empty of its power? All right, be emptied, be emptied of his power. And the new, in the uh, King James says, Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, <clears throat> not with wisdom of words, lest the cross, lest the cross of Christ should be made non effect. And this is the this is the whole thing that if we, if you live if we live by the law if we live if we live by the law uh, then then 
the 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 cross of Christ is the 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 cross of Christ is made non effective. It, it's it it's where it's made worthless. Um, just like this is the one I was thinking of. Um, in chapter four, verse fourteen, uh, I'll read. Everybody, turn jump up to Romans. I'm sorry, Romans chapter four, verse fourteen. And I'll read this out of uh, out of the King James. And maybe out of the NIV as well. But out the King James it says, For they for they which are of the law be heirs, faith is made void, and the promise and the promise made of none effect. If 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 you live by the law, if we live by the law, uh that, that was given in the old testament, that was given uh through through Moses by God. I mean, by by mo- given by God through Moses. <laughs> then, and, and if that if that makes if that makes if that may, would make us an heir, then uh, faith is made void because it, it would be more works. It, it would it would be focused more on works. That if you can, the most you can do, or the most you can give, or. The, uh, something like something and in, in, in that to that effect that all of this will all of the, the walking in faith and and not by side the believing believing in christ and and uh accepting christ as your personal savior all of that will be made non-effect all of that will be made null and void because you we wouldn't need it and and for and that's why uh tithing tithing like they did in the old testament is I want to say it's out of date, but but it's it's more it it has to be it has to be faith driven, it, it, because if it's not faith driven, it, it what you give is is worthless, it, it is worthless to you. It might do it might keep the it might keep the lights on in the church. It might keep the doors open in the church. It might pay bills for the church, but but uh, when we give to when we give to God, we give to God not expecting anything in return god is god isn't christ god isn't made our debtor when we give an offering we we don't give an offering to to expect something in return and that's and that's the a, a mistake that that a lot of people make when they hear all of these uh tv shows that that have the the uh uh the, these these telethons saying that give give uh give this certain amount of money and god is going to and god is going to uh repay you uh 10 times or god is going to uh have your have your uh what what is that have, get have your bank account overflowing if you give only only to give only to get back from god then you're you're ultimately ultimately making god your debtor you're ultimately making god somebody that owes you something back that you that that you should not give to god in in order to give back and this is w- w- with tith- with tithing that they they that and, and this is well this goes together with tithe like back in the old testament they they weren't give you had to give to get god did not want your money god did not want your tithing whether it's the ox or uh sacrifice the, an ox or or whatever it was he did not want it if you ex- if you it was how is it it was made it, it, it would not it would it wasn't no benefit to them if they it, when when they gave if they gave expecting something in return the same way today if you expect if you expect uh like a, a seven a seven fold return or if you expect a a 100 fold return when you give that that then that is then, then you're not giving to God because you love Him. You're giving to God because, uh, because you you want him to make Him your debtor. And but but back on topic that uh, we when you, when we give to God today, we we don't give to God under the law. You're not tithing under the law. Uh, it, you're giving to God what what He would have you to give. That this this is why we pray. This is why um, this is why we we walk in faith. 
you you pray and you, and you have that faith to know that that what you're giving is what God would have you to give. Because uh, sometimes that God when God isn't going to have somebody give ten percent. When a person prays, sometimes God is, might have a person just give uh, maybe one percent of what they had because God knows uh, what, what's needed in your life. God is not going to want you to be stressed out and given. God is not going to want you to be uh, if you if the church that you're going to is saying you have to give 10 percent of what you got. You have to give 10. If that stresses you out, then then that's not that's not God. God does not doesn't want to doesn't want you to uh, uh, be stressed out and, and given. God knows what you have, what you have uh, going on in your life. Uh, and, and he knows. Uh, and, and yet the Lord will provide, but the Lord is not going to stress you out in what he wants you to and what he wants you to do. Just like with uh, uh, with Abraham. With Abraham, he who was it? Isaac. He told he said he said sacrifice Isaac, uh, and, and and he went and he walked on in faith in doing that. He walked on in faith, and he was going to wholeheartedly uh, sacrifice Isaac, and 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 with God seeing that that he walked by faith, God God uh, God rewarded that. Not he he rewarded that. Uh, with, with that ram in a bush that, that he was about to come down with the knife and, and God stopped him and, and said that he knows that you he knows that he fears him with his whole heart and, and he and he walked on in, in that faith and God because he walked on in that faith God provided him uh, a, a ram a ram in the bush God provided him with, with what he needed to give to, to him so when, when we walk on with, with God when we pray and, and, and ask God what it is that, that we are to give, <clears throat> he's going to provide for us what he wants us to give. Whether, whether that is, a, whether that's a 10%, whether that's 2%, whether that's 50% of, uh, of what we have, it, it's all up to God. It's all up to the individual. This is, that we're not walking in the Old, the, the old Testament law. They were it. It was set in stone, literally. <laughs> it was set in stone uh, that they were to give that ten percent. That they were to that Moses told he told Moses to tell the children of Israel give ten percent. But what how, how what, what we read in in, in Leviticus what we started off what we started off to read in Leviticus they said that the com, those are the commandments that he gave to Moses to give to the children of Israel to tie that 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 ten percent of what they had this is what they had to do today what we have to do is is <clears throat> is, uh, is uh where is it at i think it's in hebrews let's see uh whoops um no that's not in that's not it, what i was looking for but here the uh where it was do a verse uh, chapter 11 verse 1 where, where it says now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen this is how we walk we walk in faith that, that evidence of things not seen Abraham told uh, his son he, when his son asked him where, where is we have the wood uh, how, what was the words that he said we, we, we have the wood we have the fire but where is the sacrifice and, Mo, and, Ab, and Abraham said, God will provide. And it's the same thing here. Whatever we, whenever we pray, when we pray and ask God what it is that he would have us to give, God is going to provide, uh, God is going to provide the, 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 the ability to give what he instructs to, for us to give. He's going to, uh, he, he's going to, uh, give the, the 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 substance he's going to give us the ability to do it like like we like like the lord told that whether it's one percent whether it's fi or whether it's 50 percent god is going to give that ability to do it he's not going to stress us out by saying uh, by, by saying uh having that uh having that uh uh set down the middle uh it's that that give give 10 percent of what you have god like like the lord said god knows where we are at 
some people might not in their walk with in their walk with God. Some people might not be to the point well to, to say, uh, well, I, I, uh, I'm gonna have to I'm I'm gonna pray and ask and give what the Lord would have me to give. Some people are uh, are still at the place where they say, oh, I have to give that ten percent to God. That's all well and good. Wherever you are, wherever your faith is at, that's what you that's what you give. If you believe that you should give ten percent of your earnings, then you give ten percent. But where we all have to get is is uh, in in our walk to be able to pray and ask God, what what are you going to have me to give today? What are you going to have me to give uh, the or, or give this week or or give this month? And what and Whatever God's and and when when we pray, whenever whenever we hear it, that's what we give. Not to get and just like uh, we're not well, we're not to give over uh what He says and not to give under from what He says. Just like with just like with uh, uh Noah when he built the ark, God gave him the blueprint of how big to make the ark, how uh the 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 length and 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 the depth to build the ark. Um. And if anything, if anything was was altered from that, there there would be uh, consequences. God gives us that God gives us uh, the the instructions that that we need to give, that we need uh, for, uh, for for giving to Him. That and and the instructions that He gives us is not to be uh, done not not to be done over. It's not to be done under. It's to be done as God instructs us to, and that, that's the this uh, and this is not only with uh, give not only with offering, but it's with everyday life that <clears throat> that we have to uh, look to God and and hear look pray look to God in prayer and and do what He would have us to do. And, and walk and walk in that uh, totally in faith, and and you have to know that when you whatever you do for God, that the uh, it, it's not you know, it, it's not of works. That, that it, it's how is it said in, in in Ephesians? What is it? Ephesians chapter two. Let me see. Turn to Ephesians chapter two, verse nine. Read this up to, uh, yeah, go ahead and read it. Not by work, so that no one can boast. Yeah, not by works. It's not of works. What we do for God, when when we walk in God, it, it, nothing we do for God, nothing we do for God, uh, needs to be bragged on. Like uh, it, 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 whether if God gives somebody. Uh, a, a huge church with a huge congregation is not of what they did. Uh, it's not <clears throat> if God gives somebody uh, gives one of his children a uh, successful business. It, it, it's not it's not because of what they've done. It, it, it can't it, it's it, whatever we do. It can't be of worse. We can't boast about it because it's not what we do. And it, it, it's what God has blessed us with. And it's the same thing with, with the giving that it, it's not it, it goes it it goes beyond the the, the law that God Christ expand Christ expanded uh, not expanded but but he uh, he's expanded upon uh, uh, the uh, 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 adultery and hatred and, and, and killing and and all of that in this the same the same way that that he that that God expanded upon his offering that we live beyond we live we're we're not under the law we're under we're under grace and and by and and living under grace we have to uh pray to God we have to give ourselves to God we have to uh ask him what it is that he would have us to do that we're not <clears throat> uh giving wise we're, we're not to uh uh, be be stuck in that I have to give ten percent. I have to give ten percent because some weeks God would have you to give more. Other weeks God would have you to give less. It's all up to it's all up to Him, and it's not up to us. And it's not to be uh, it's not to be bragged on. It's not to be uh, thinking you're better than anyone else. 
it's between it's between you and God. It's, it's not it's nobody else's business what God would have you to do, what God would have you to give. <clears throat> and so it, it, if you're going somewhere, if you're going to to a church that that and uh, you should be in continuous prayer. So you know what to give. So you know what, what to do. You have to be in con- you have to be in that continuous prayer at all times. Seeking God's face at all times. Not only pray, not only praying when you're in a situation. Not only praying when you need a choice for something. Not only praying when you're uh, in travels, but pray, but praying all the time. And this is and and this is how to move uh, beyond the, the the crutch of of I have to give ten percent. I have to give ten percent. I have to give ten percent. That God will move you beyond that, and moving you beyond that. Is going to is going to entail all of us to be able to give, not be, to be able to uh, to be able to, uh, to 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 pray and and do what God would have us to do. All right, everybody got it. Yeah. Any questions? Yeah. Cool. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. All right, now. Uh. There's no questions if everybody's all right, everybody's cool, everybody received. Time to rush of the service that will open up the doors to the church. Anybody that wants to accept Christ as their personal Savior. Anybody wants to accept Christ as a personal <laughs> Savior can do so just to come forward. If it's in your heart, if it's in your heart and you that you want and you want to accept Christ as your personal Savior, just to come on, come on forward. As well as online, uh, if you want to, if your heart's burning and you want to, and you want to accept Christ as your personal Savior, there's no long speeches you have to do. There's no uh, long year-long classes. There's no classes that you have to take to receive your salvation. If it's in, if it's in your heart, and you want to accept Christ as your personal Savior. You can do so. All you have to do is, <clears throat> within yourself or out loud, just say, "Jesus, come into my heart, save me." I know I'm a sinner, and I know I need to be saved. Uh, come, come into my heart and save me. Be my leader. Be my guide. <clears throat> save me. And that's all that needs to be said. You're at, from that, from that, this point on, you're saved. From this point on, your salvation is is is, is solid. Is written. Is written in a uh, is written in stone. And, and like I said, all you have to say is, "Jesus, come into my heart and save me." I know I'm a sinner. I know I need to be saved. Come uh, say, come into my heart and save me. Be my leader and be my guide. And that's all. Like I said, that's all that needs to be said. That there's there's no uh, classes that have to be taken to solidify your your your, your salvation that to complete it you, to complete your salvation. Once you with your whole heart, once you accept Christ as your personal savior, then you're saved. And and once you have accepted Christ as your personal savior, uh, <coughs> excuse me, you pray. And, and, and ask and, and ask God to take you to a church that He would have you to go to, to, to take you to a church that He would have you uh, to to grow in your walk, in your faith, in your strength, in your strength in Him. That we welcome you to continue on joining together with us and coming down and visiting us. But it, it has to be it has to be God's God's choice. It can't be your own. It, it has to be uh, His instruction that He gives to you. Or else it, it will it it will be it will be worth it will be worthless to you, and so just pray and and ask God. And when you end your prayer, end it in the name of Jesus. And always end your prayers in the name of Jesus when when you're praying. And as and if there's any prayer if there's any prayer requests, what <coughs> excuse me our our email address is prayer at rtbministries dot us. Whatever uh. <clears throat> Whatever your prayer, send in your prayer email and your prayer request. Your prayer request, and we'll pray over them on your behalf. Once again, it's prayer at rtbministries.us. <clears throat> send in send in your prayer request. And uh, lastly, on Sunday, we'll be coming together once again when we start our broadcast at twelve twelve thirty. Uh, and, and welcome everybody to join together with us, whether it's online or whether 
It's in person. Uh, if you desire to come in, in person, uh, we meet at the Holiday and Express uh, off the Elizabethtown Reams exit off of Route 283, <laughs> and we'll we'll be coming together starting at, at uh, as coming together at 12:30. <clears throat> Welcome everybody to come on in and join together with us. So if there's nothing else, if all hearts and minds are clear, let's all bow our heads and be <clears throat> to be dismissed out. Dear Father, we thank you and we praise you, dear Lord, for being with us and guiding and keeping and standing on with us, dear Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, dear Father, just for continuing on. Uh, allowing this, uh, allowing us to come together, allowing the broadcast to go forth, to go out, and and uh, and bringing all of your hungry together, dear Father, once again, and, and for our, for your Bible study, dear Father. And I pray in the name of Jesus as we uh, continue on in this week, as we leave out of here, uh, out of your house, and under, uh, uh, from under your table, dear Father, from at your table, dear Father, and leave back out into this world. I pray in the name of Jesus to remind all of your hungry, all of your children, everyone to be in continuous prayer protect us and guide and keep us give us victory over this world i pray that there be none to fall away that the world not take away the word that you have given us dear father and in any way dear lord uh, i pray that that it brings brings forth good fruit in our lives dear father in the name of jesus dear lord and i pray as well dear father Yes, your presence and your protection, your angels of protection surrounding the homes and and, 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 our, and all of our journeys, dear Father, giving us continued victory over this world and open up our discernment, dear Father, as we're out in this world as well, dear Lord, that we that none will be ensnared, none will be trapped, none will be tempted away, dear Father, and none will fall away in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. And I pray, dear Father, to bless us as well to, to come in again, dear Father, under... And to you, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, dear Father. And, and we th once again, we thank you and we praise you for all that you have done and all that you're going to do for us, dear Father. In Jesus' name, we thank you and praise you, dear Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Yay, Jesus. <laughs>